Hi, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the Relay Station. We bring the news to you. Today, I just wanted to share a little something about a product that I found at the store. I was doing a little bit of a price comparison, and I found something, and I just wanted to share that with you. Now, I am not a mathematician by any means, but I know a better deal when I see it. So what I use a lot of times for my, um, just a sec, to sweeten coffee or tea or recipe or whatever, I do actually prefer the liquid stevia. This is the um, sweet leaf, sweet drops. And I do prefer that over most everything. But anyway, to carry something in my purse or to take with me when, you know, when you're at a restaurant or something and you want a packet of a sweetener, <clears throat> to put in your tea or your coffee and sorry I just was coughing and kind of choked <laughs> earlier so my throat's a little weird but anyway um, I usually have been able to pick up this Lacanto um, it's marketed as monk fruit but if you will look um, it says monk fruit but if you look at the ingredients in almost all of the products that say monk fruit not all of them say monk fruit and then if you look in the ingredient list it says erythritol and monk fruit extract so actually erythritol is the first ingredient which is a sugar alcohol most people are okay with it some people don't like the cooling effect that it has with the flavor um i think it's fine it doesn't bother me some people can't um ingest a lot of it because it'll irritate their stomach again i seem to be fine with it but when I want to get something that is in a packet form, um, I will go ahead and, and buy this. Now, I have seen these at other stores and other places. Now, where I got this one is um, over at Marshall's, which I think they do a lot of, um, you know, when surplus sales. If a store has a surplus of something, uh, Marshalls will get it, TJ Maxx, some of the other stores will get these things and, and go ahead and sell them. And they're perfectly fine. They're really good. So I try to look over there and see if I can find something that I need. I got, um, oh, where is it? I also get my, when I use this in coffee, the skinny syrups. Marshalls has a lot of them. I think TJ Maxx has them as well. Um, this is my favorite iced cinnamon roll. Cinnamon is one of my favorite flavors. Anyway, back to the Lacanto. The Lacanto and other brands of sweetener that market themselves as monk fruit are a lot of times actually erythritol with some monk fruit extract, which is fine. You know, if you read the ingredients, you know that. So I got this at Marshall's and it was $3.99. And um, if you can see that or not, $3.99. And there are 30 packets in here. Just the packets like you would see at the restaurant with sugar or Splenda or um, the blue stuff that will kill you. Anyway, so yesterday, that's what I've been doing. And I'd rather go to a discount store like that and find it, you know, discounted and then pay full price. And I looked it up online. And if you want to get the box, same box of the packets, it's about $6 average is rounded up it's about six dollars so you can order it on amazon or wherever and you can buy that box of 30 packets for six dollars so yesterday when i was at sam's club looking at some things this is what i saw it is a box of packets that are marketed as monk fruit so I said, well, it's the Splenda company that's putting this out. So we know that Splenda's got maltodextrin and dextrose with just a teeny, 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 tiny, little teeny, tiny bit of um, sucralose. And that is the sweetener that they advertise um, with the Splenda in the packets. You see that you see it everywhere. So anyway, I said, well, this is Splenda. Let me check it out. So I looked at the ingredient list and it is on the back, on the bottom. So I will read it. The ingredients in this are erythritol and monk fruit extract. Exact same thing. Exact same thing as in the Lacanto. Now, is the quality the same? I don't know. Um, 
but I looked to see if there was any other ingredients. Um, it doesn't seem to be, there doesn't seem to be any other ingredients. Um, one packet is less than one carbohydrate per packet. Um, if you want to compare it to sugar, they've got a comparison on the back of the box, but this is actually the bottom of the box. And you can see the ingredient list there, maybe two. I don't know if you can see that or not. But anyway, so I said, well, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and drop it. Let's go ahead. There we go. <laughs> and purchase this. So I thought, okay, well, I'm at Sam, so I'm going to get a little bit of a discount because I'm getting a big box of it. There's a bunch of uh, packets in here. So I looked and it said 500, 500 packets. That's going to take a while to go through. I don't use this all the time. This is what I carry in my purse, you know, the little packets for if I go out to, to eat and I get a coffee or a tea, then I don't have to use the yucky stuff the restaurant has sitting there that will kill you, <laughs> especially that aspartame. Um, anyway, I picked it up and it was 11 something, rounded up to $12. So there's $12 for 500 packets or you can purchase it online through this brand and get 30 packets per box for about $6. Or you can go to Marshall's or TJ Maxx or a store like that and purchase it for about $4 for 30 packets. So I'm just thinking, you know what? If this works out to be, you know, works well, I don't see why it wouldn't. I understand that these bigger companies are marketing to the keto community because we're spending money. We are spending money for products that we want, products that we, we need. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. Um, I don't know if anybody else has come across this. Usually when you find um, monk fruit advertised, it is monk fruit, but it's going to have erythritol in the front. So that means that ingredient is number one. That's what's mostly in that product. And then they list the other ingredients afterwards. So I thought that was a good buy. If anybody has any... Um, you know, thoughts about that or comments about that, let me know. Because I think that is just a, a good way to go. If you belong to Sam's Club, I don't know if the other big box clubs have, you know, BJ's or um, what's the other one? Can't think of it right now. Costco. I don't know if they have this brand or not, but they're jumping on the bandwagon. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. These other companies, these big companies, they want to make money too. I do prefer to, um, you know, purchase from a local uh, butcher or a local company that, that, or a local person that sells eggs, but when you can't and you can find things that you need elsewhere, you know, sometimes you just, you just have to do that. So anyway, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the relay station. That's what I wanted to share today. That was my news for today. Plus I wanted to show off my new shirt. This is also from Donna Mibus artwork. She has a Facebook page and she has an Etsy store. And I just, I don't have any connection to her other than I've purchased some pictures and um, this shirt and my, you might have seen this in my other videos, my decal for my cup. Anyway, I just love mid-century modern and the atomic age. And she had these shirts and I couldn't resist because they were on sale. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to share that with you too. So that's Donna Midas and it's M-I-B-U-S. I just wanted to share that for her. Uh, she's an entrepreneur and I like to promote other people that are working very hard to make a living and are doing a great job at it. I also just wanted to share... Just keep looking, just keep looking for these keto products because the companies are, they're out to make money. So they're going to try to fill this um, demographic of people that are shopping now. And it looks like, um, at least with this Splenda, we'll see, we'll see just how it goes. If anybody has any opinions or wants to say anything about that, just let me know. This is Linda with the Life Station Express, the Relay Station. We bring the news to you. And that is the news on this snowy two days before Christmas, 2022. And I hope you're doing really, really well. And stay safe while you're driving. If you're in the snow, if you're down south and you're enjoying the sun, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> but this is Linda. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.